Portumna Friary. Portumna, translated as the landing place of the oak, is both a market town and a tourist centre. Here, life moves slowly, with walking and cycling tours, marine tourism, forest parks, castle visits and a list of former abbeys and a workhouse. The town is situated to the west, where the River Shannon enters Loch Derg. Here, two counties and two provinces merge. This crossing point between the counties Galway and Tipperary has a long history. It is served with a five-span bridge over the Shannon. The central portion rests on an island, locally identified as Hayes' Island, and completed in 1911. A must on our tour is a visit to the Dominican Priory. Originally, the Cistercian monks of Dun Brody Abbey in County Wexford built a small chapel here about the 13th century. Some time later, the Cistercians left the abbey and the lands passed on to the O'Madden family. The O'Maddens, with permission of the Bishop of Clonfert, granted the church and site, dedicated to the Blessed Virgin assumed into heaven and to St. Peter and Paul to the Dominicans. The friary consisted of a church cloister and a range of domestic buildings where they slept and ate. Windows to the north and south are from the 13th century and the remaining parts are of the 15th century. When the Dominicans, by permission by the Holy See, had begun to build a church or abbey, all the faithful helped. It became a vicarite under the Abbey of Athenry till 1640, then formed into a priory. Here, Patrick Sarsfield, the Earl of Lucan, married Honora Burke on January the 9th, 1689, two years before the Battle of Ockram. The friars were forced to flee after the battle as a result of the penal laws. On the defeat of the Catholic army 1691 and because of the plundering done by the victorious Willemites, a member of the abbey, a Father Madden, hid himself in an impassable bog, keeping unseen whilst it took the enemy days to pass. He wasted away to the want of food, as all who might have assisted him were fleeing before the enemy. Another novice of Father Richard O'Madden's suffered a lot of persecution under Cromwell. He was hidden by a friend in a wooded portion of the Portumna Domain. The abbey, as it is now, is quite close to the Portumna Marina. The Gothic windows and cut stone architecture are truly a work of art and a glowing tribute to the workmanship of a bygone era.